Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Drew. Um, I haven't made a cooking video in quite a while, so I said today I decided I'm going to try to make something that I haven't made on my channel yet. I'm going to be making some chicken stir fry. Now it's not really a stir fry because I don't have a wok, but it's it's very similar. So let me show you the ingredients. Hold on. Okay, we have some frozen broccoli stir fry mix, some boneless skinless chicken breast, some Uncle Ben's rice, white rice. Uh, we got teriyaki sauce, a can of pineapple chunks. We have a can of baby whole baby corn, which I will cut in half. And we have some what? Yes, Lisa's gonna have the instant rice. I want the Uncle Ben's, but Lisa's gonna have the instant. Lisa from the other room, everybody. Hello. Say hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there she is. So, um, this hey, <laughs> Lisa says hello. So, she's in the other room snacking on some Lucky Charms before dinner. She's like a little kid. But that, that's the best way to be, though. It really is. I love the marshmallows. Yeah, everybody does. Everybody. When I was a kid, Lucky Charms was my favorite cereal. And to make a long story short, my sister and I used to argue like cats and dogs over the Lucky Charms because I would get up really early on a Saturday morning because there was no school and I would sit there in front of the television with the Lucky Charms box and just sit there and shake it, eat all the marshmallows I could see, then shake it again and eat all the marshmallows. So when my, when my sister got up to pour a bowl of cereal, no marshmallows in the Lucky Charms. So that's a little story from my childhood. Today I've got Andy's Good Time production shirt on, which I'll be cooking in. I'm gonna have my BBI apron on in a minute. So did I, just, did I just hear you say shake it? Shake it, baby, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, yeah, baby. <laughs> I can't sing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut up on my chicken and start cooking this. Alright, see you then. Bye. Okay, everybody, we're back. Here is the chicken. I've cut up into bite-sized pieces. This is about just over a pound of chicken breast. It's fine. So you just make sure you preheat the pan a little bit. Let me just dump it all in here. You can hear it sizzling here. Listen to that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so I'm going to brown this on all sides, and then I'm going to add everything to the stir-fry, and we'll see you then. All right. Bye. Okay, everybody, we're back. Okay, the chicken has been browned, so now I'm going to add, hold on, some frozen vegetables. Might add a second bag, I don't know yet. Some water chestnuts. Baby corn. Hold on, camera's moving around. And some pineapple chunks. I might add another um, bag of vegetables here. Okay, so then, now we take, sorry, I'm holding this. Now we take teriyaki. Spread. This comes out really good because the teriyaki just flavors up the pineapples. You don't have to add pineapples to this. You can do whatever you want. You can even put some garlic and saute some garlic in the oil before you um, make the chicken. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I like the baby corn. That's my favorite part. I like a lot of teriyaki. So. Teriyaki just flavors up everything. So now what you do is, you gotta let this sit for about an hour and simmer it, cover it up. And basically you just, maybe you'd like once, but maybe after about a half an hour, you just take it and stir it up a little bit. Maybe add a little water to it right now, actually. But I'm gonna add some more, um, some more vegetables and just start cooking this stuff up. Well, well done, everything, right? Really? Yes, ma'am. Lisa likes it well done. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back very quickly. This might be a short vlog today, but uh, I'll be back soon. All right, bye, everybody. Okay, everybody, just a little break in between of things here. Uh, I again have my Good Times Productions shirt on today, so it would all be appropriate for me to challenge you, Andy, to make chicken stir fry. I haven't made you, I haven't challenged you for a while. 
you know that so hey you know what wait a minute I also have my biggest best ideas apron on and we've been waiting for a cooking vlog from you Tamara for a long time so guess what you are hereby also challenged by me cooking with Drew to make chicken stir-fry or whatever you want Andy you gotta make the stir-fry though so the challenge is on Andy from a good times production and Tamara from BBI you know, I, I, I want to see some cooking vlogs soon okay everybody there you go, pineapples, Tamara. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Bye. Okay, everybody, we're back. And this is the finished product. I'm going to B-roll this because it looks really good. I'm trying not to get cook the camera too close. And it's done to Lisa's liking. And it, it smells delicious in here. So here we got some instant rice. For Lisa, and I have. Really? Yes, Lisi. <laughs> Is my broccoli very soft? Yes, it is, and the and the and the chicken is nice and well done, just like you like it. Does Lisa like our broccoli soft or not? <laughs> that is the question of the day. All right, I, so. I like my food soft. Mm-hmm. Yes, she likes her food soft. <laughs> okay, so um. As soon as my rice is done, I am going to make a taste test of this, and I'll be back. All right, everybody. See you then. Bye. Okay, everybody. Here is the finished product. This is stir fry with some rice, some corn, some veggies. It's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit on the fork. I like the corn. That's my favorite part. I think I've been there. Come on. I'm gonna try it. Mm. Okay. Let's see, so here's what you see it's steaming. There's a big piece of carrot hanging from the fork. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Ready? I'm gonna blow one because it's still pretty hot. Just got it out of the pan. Okay, here we go. Good stuff. And this is like super, 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 super simple to make. I mean, one thing that takes a long time is cutting up the chicken and, and like browning it. Other than that, you just add everything to the pan and let it simmer and stir it a few times over about an hour. I think this dish maybe takes about we're in 15 minutes to make total and includes all the chopping and all the cooking. And oh yeah, I, you can use vegetable oil or olive oil. I used olive oil this time. I said, and you can you you you, you don't have to put all the ingredients I did. You can put whatever you want. So um, thank you for joining me on another cooking adventure today. I had fun because I haven't done this for a while. Okay, everybody. This is Cook and Madrew signing off. Until next time, see you then.